Yeah, let's keep on half hour the odds, yep. So, Mia, how long have you known you were pregnant? I don't know. Have you been to see a doctor? Does anyone else know? Mum? I don't have a mum. <laughs> let's have a little look. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's hurting today. It made me faint. The head's engaged. It feels term. OK, Robin, I'm going to need you to call maternity ward, tell them I need a bed for a 16-year-old prima gravida who's full term and hasn't had any antenatal care yet. Thanks, Tess. Thank you. The baby's on its way? Not so. Yeah? Uh, Tom's asked me to tell you that there's a Peter Trenton in resource. What? Yeah, he's had an accident at work, an electric shock. Both Sam and Tom were there. They saved his life. And they missed their wedding. Their wedding? I had no idea. Well, I think they like to keep it quiet. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'm trying to get hold of the registrar, see if she can marry him today after all. What do you think? It's a good idea. Leave it with me. We need to give him a bit more of a send-off now, don't we? You and Nell get on to it. Mm -hmm. We don't want a big fuss, mind. All right. OK. Tom. How bad is it? He had a brief VF arrest following an electrocution. He was brought back after two shocks and a bit of CPR. He's also got a burn to his right hand. Uh, where am I? Hello, Mr Trenton. I'm Zoe Hanna. I'm the lead consultant. You're at Holby Emergency Department. What? Oh, no. I understand how you must be feeling, and I am fully aware of everything that happened last time you were here. <laughs> Mistakes like that are extremely rare. And to reassure you, I will be looking after you myself, OK? Fetch, a word. Uh, this seems fine. Normal sinus rhythm. Given your history with this patient, I don't think you should be treating him. So would you swap a test, please? Um, look, he doesn't know it was my mistake. I'd really like this opportunity to try and put it right. This is for your protection, not his. Zoe, I think he needs to take a look at his feet. They're a real mess. Why wasn't he wearing the right clothes? Have we got his records? They're not here yet. Um, I can give you his medical history. Uh, Mr Trenton, we're just going to have a look at your feet. Um, OK. He's diabetic and this ulcer's from Charcot's foot disease, so he probably wasn't wearing protective footwear because it'd be too painful. Thank you, Fletch. Don't go anywhere just yet. I do remember you. He was the one who had the altercation with you outside, wasn't he? It was you. What altercation? There was a misunderstanding. It got a bit heated. A bit heated? He threatened my partner. No, actually, he threatened me. Liar! I'd appreciate it if you didn't speak to my staff like that. Nurse Fletcher, should we give them some time alone? talking about and how come I didn't know about it before? Because nothing happened. There's no way you should be nursing him. I don't want you treating him anymore. Go and find Tess and send her in. Please. <sighs> Thank you. Is everything going to be OK with him? That's just anxiety before the scan. It's quite usual. It's not your usual type of patient, though, is he? Have you any idea how traumatised he was after what happened to him last time? It was an honest mistake, and unfortunately, in this profession, that can happen. Sure. But would, sorry, from whoever did it, really be too much to ask My for? mistake could have been fatal. I should have been honest straight away. Tess, don't. If you do it now, it's going to make it worse. You're going to think it's a couple. Department. Really, have you listened to yourself? This is total hogwash. You both accepted it. Yeah, we accepted it at the time, but you... Sorry to interrupt, Dr Hannah. I couldn't help but overhear. I'd like to offer you my sincerest apologies. It was my clinical error that caused your partner's collapse. I'm responsible. You are a real piece of work, aren't you? You choose to admit to that now. And you're the one who threatened him. You've got a real problem with us, haven't you? No, of course I And on top of all that, he's just accused my partner of lying about how he got his injuries. I didn't think the story of the accident tallied with the injuries that he had. It's not a coincidence he's got the same injury twice. His heart rate sky high is just going to be Get him straight back into resource. Okay. 
His heart was fine before this nurse messed with it last time. I can assure you that this is to do with the electric shock your partner suffered and got nothing to do with last time he was here. Let's go. Uh, uh, this is your fault. OK, he's having another run of VT, so can we have mm -hmm. 300 of amiodarone and call the cardiologist down for review? Thank you. Do you remember the guy that you had a row with outside before you collapsed last <sighs> time? He's the one who made the mistake, and he's the one who was on your case earlier. Can you step back, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep a careful eye on him, because he Peter, could arrest any second. We need to get this story straight. Get the truth please, the could you All give right. us some space? We're right. trying to treat your partner. Well, I think he did it on purpose. He threatened you, didn't he? You, you said that. He threatened you. Peter, we're going to give you some oxygen to help with the shortness of breath. Was anyone else there? Did anyone else see? Shh. OK, just breathe deeply, Mr Trenton. <laughs> you were there when I collapsed the, the last time I was here, weren't you? You, 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 um, you helped me back inside the hospital, didn't you? That's right. <laughs> you must have seen Nurse Fletcher threaten him. No, I'm sorry, no. Well, well, you were there! I remember being outside because I remember Mr Trenton collapsing. I came to his aid. What That's do you it. like, you people? You it's cover each other's backs, you protect each other before you protect the patients. No. It's criminal! Oh, 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 oh. Can we call security, ah. please? I'd like you to leave. Yeah, good. Yeah. Call them and call the police too. I'd like to Fine. talk to them. I want the CCTV from that day looked at. I'm accusing that nurse of assault. Okay, thank you, Carl. Zoe, the registrar can marry Tom and Sam later today in the hospital chapel. Will you be OK with that? Uh, yeah, sure. Can I leave you to deal with that? Oh. Um, uh, Zoe, Tess, um, Peter Trenton went to St James's ED three weeks ago with a very similar chest injury, all right? And, and so I've asked them to send me those images, but this is what I've got, OK? So uh, this is from ten weeks ago. This is from today. All right, look. New callus formation. Right? So, so, so that shows old fractures. I mean, these have been broken in the same place before. What are you getting at, Fletch? Well, I think the boyfriend did it. I think it's in an abusive relationship. Oh, and do you think that's going to help matters? You've seen how sensitive the relationship is with this patient. Look, if he's abusing him, then I can prove he's got it in for me because I'm onto the truth. But he's accused me of assault. Why don't I talk to them? OK, but go easy. You know how volatile that conversation could be. I'll speak to the police and tell them what we know. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Got a call about... Uh... Yeah, why don't we step into my office, yeah? Thanks. Let me know when the X-ray's back on his leg, cos I want to have a look at the alignment before the orthopaedic doctors come down to review. Shouldn't be long before we go for X-ray, Richard. OK? Just to remind you, in your statement, you said you were unaware of any altercation taking place between your colleague Fletch and Mr Trenton. Is that still correct? Yes. Would you agree with me? That is you. It does seem to be. This doesn't quite tally with your statement, does it? Looks like there was more of an altercation than I thought. Are you sure you didn't hear anything at all, Rita? Fletch may have raised his voice, mm -hmm. but I don't remember what he said. OK? Thank you. I mean, is this entirely necessary? I'm afraid it is, yeah. Fletch. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go with the officer down to the station. I uh, need to interview you formally. You're not actually going to arrest me, though, are you? No need for handcuffs or anything. It's for your protection as well as ours, mate. Uh, OK, um... Can you, uh, can you do me a favour and um, try not to let Tess find out about it? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. There you go. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, you look gorgeous.
repeat after me. I, Tom Kent, take thee, Sam Nichols, to be my wedded wife. I, Tom Kent, take thee, Sam Nichols, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. Arrested for assault. Well done, that Louise. <laughs> 